Well, I feel good. I feel like we can get started. We'll do some introductions. And um, so if anyone kind of comes in late or a couple minutes late, we won't be too deep into anything. Um, thank you again, everyone, for joining us on this Thursday afternoon. Um, I'm Shahan Ganchi. This should, we're thinking this webinar should probably run about 30, 45 minutes. So um, we're excited to have you talk about some new tiles we have available in our stores and exciting tile trends. Um, just a heads up, again, we're recording this. It'll be available on our blog in the next week. And you can use the Q&A feature, as I mentioned earlier, for questions. Um, I'll be answering that. And also at the end, a survey should pop up on your screen when we end the webinar. And we'd love your feedback um, on the presentation or just in general, if there's this is a product about our products, if there's um, anything you're looking for in our assortment um, or have any feedback on that, we'd love to hear it as you'll hear from Luke throughout the presentation. Um, a lot of new things are brought in from feedback from designers and our, our customers and things. So um, feel free if, and those of you who do take the survey, um, we will be giving away a $250 tile shop gift card. So thank you again. And I'll pass it off to Luke for an introduction and to kick off the presentation. Awesome. Thanks, Shahan. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We're really excited to be walking you through our product trends and our new products. Um, my name is Luke Cronover. Um, I'm about a week shy of my 13th anniversary here. Um, you can just think of me as a really good tile shop product expert. So uh, again, that Q&A function is perfect for asking questions. Shahan will um, interject uh, with any of those live. Um, and we'll try to answer them as they come in. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So one of the biggest trends that we see right now um, and have been seeing and know that it's just continuing to build speed and momentum is the handmade and handmade look trend. Um, we absolutely love the artisan feel of these products. Some of the features that really lend themselves to that handmade look are going to be things like the rough, uneven surfaces, uh, rough, uneven edges, things that are made by hand, have those slight imperfections. Um, other things that we might see are a fume or smoky edge. Um, Imperfections in the glaze or crackled glazes are really big in these handmade tiles, as well as very high color variation. Um, in real handmade tiles, these things uh, are impacted by the process uh, that these products go through during um, their manufacturing process. Um, handmade is never perfect. Um, the temperatures in the kiln do not remain consistent and that's how we get color variations. So whether it's real handmade or a manufactured tile to, to, to look handmade, they give you that really, really cool artisan feel. Our first collection that we're going to talk about today is our Zellage collection. Um, and I sort of want to talk about the Zellage like definition or the tradition. So they're typically made out of uh, clay that have been hand glazed and then they're hand chiseled into the desired shape. Um, we also have Zellage tiles that can be pressed and then are hand glazed as a part of the tradition. Um, and for this particular collection, we went straight to the source of this tradition, which is in Morocco. These tiles come to us directly from where the tradition started. Um, I absolutely love this collection because it is truly handmade. Um, we have it available in six different colorways, in multiple sizes. The four by four is probably our most traditional zellage size that we're going to see, um, but we also have it in that really fun two inch by six inch subway tile, as well as a two inch mosaic. Um, we also have it in this really cool cross and star pattern that we're calling Chabon. Uh, all these are available in a glossy finish, uh, with the exception of that Chabon, which is available in both uh, gloss and matte. One of the things that, that makes this unique is the fact that it's handmade. However, that can bring uh, along some things that make it a little bit finicky when you're installing it. Um, and so for, for us, we recommend that when installing this tile, uh, you're actually not using spacers for this because of the unevenness of those edges. So you're really going to be installing these as tight as you possibly can. And then any of the gaps that arise because of the uneven edges, those gaps would then be filled with the grout. Um, we recently did a shoot 
uh, here uh, of this Zellers collection. It's probably one of my favorite photo shoots that I've been a part of. Uh, you can see on the wall here the, the really dramatic color variation that we get. And I want to point out, this is one colorway of the Zellers collection. This is the alabaster colorway. And you can really see the variation that we get from sort of a light sandy beige color all the way through creamy into whites and even a little bit of a blue tint. Again, those variations in color are all about how the tile is manufactured. Um, these, these handmade kilns um, do not circulate as, as easily as your sort of manufactured tile kilns do. And so you get variations in temperature and, and fluctuations in temperature. And those interact with the glaze during that firing process and create those really cool uh, variations in color. Also notable, notable here are the uneven uh, surface texture of these. Really, you can see sort of in that mirror area of the photo how you get that really beautiful sort of wavy rippled uh, effect when the light uh, reflects off of these tiles. Um, this is probably one of my favorite new uh, collections that we have. Um, and then you can see on the floor there, we've used that Chabon pattern. Um, and for this particular uh, shot, we actually decided to do a mix of both gloss and matte in that so that you get a little bit more dimension uh, in this look. Luke, just wanted to add, I know we've had some questions about since there's, you know, uneven kind of um, widths or, you know, depths of this tile being at hand chiseled. Um, how do you typically suggest finishing this product? Yeah, so these tiles are going to be a little bit thicker than your traditional manufactured tile. Um, so you could potentially use a metal edge. You can see what we've done around the recessed shelf in the shower. We've used a gold metal edge piece to finish off that transition, that sort of outside corner. Um, but also any of the pencil edge pieces work really great for this. Uh, and it sort of depends on the look and feel and the style that you're going for in your design. I've seen this uh, without any kind of finishing piece and in the right uh, space, it looks really great to leave it raw and really highlight that handmade quality. That's a great question. So our next collection is this beautiful handmade look subway tile from Italy. Um, I love this look because it actually invokes the classic Mialica pottery or stoneware that's so inherent to the uh, Italian uh, ceramics. Um, I also love this tile because of its size, this two inch by 10 inch subway size, a little more elongated, not your traditional three by six size for a subway. Um, and I also love the colors that this comes in. So you've got a really great neutral, uh, that Bianco color, and then three really bold tones. You have the blue, the Oliva, and then the Avio. Um, the Avio is the one that's a little bit of the sort of bluish green, sort of teal tone. Avio in Italian sort of relates to aviation. So it's that sort of sky uh, color. Um, what's great about these is that unlike the Zellage that are truly handmade, these are actually a manufactured tile that are made to look like they're handmade. So some of those installation um, issues that you might have or, or additional um, things to consider with installation with the real handmade products, you're not going to have with this but um, they're manufactured to look just like handmade. So you can see uh, the texture that you get on, on these tiles, that same wavy finish on the surface. There's going to be high color variation in this tile, uneven edges, that fume edge is really uh, prominent in some of these pieces. Italian tiles, they're at the peak <laughs> of design. Um, and so the number of variations that we get in a, even in a single color uh, is pretty spectacular. One of the things that I really love about this product is that it can really fit any mood you're going for. It can be light and airy, or you can go with bold and moodier, really focusing on the color or really just highlighting uh, the unique sort of handmade quality uh, of the look. Our next collection is our Tribeca collection. This is a Spanish collection of handmade look subway tiles. Uh, and it's inspired by the Tribeca neighborhood in lower Manhattan. Um, fun fact, Tribeca is made up of three words, tri, B-E, and C-A, which mean uh, the triangle below Canal Street, uh, which just references the area in New York. So just kind of a fun little 
piece of information there. Again, this two by 10 size, it's one of my favorite sizes. It really allows you to emphasize one dimension over another really well. It's great for a herringbone. Um, one thing that's great about the Tribeca collection is that it also comes with a coordinating trim piece. So it's great for finishing off those edges, dealing with any transitions that you have from tile to maybe drywall. Um, the colors here, beautiful neutrals, a white, the, the gypsum white, the gray whisper, and then the basalt, that sort of uh, darker color. If you, if you look closely, especially it's uh, noticeable on the sort of mid-tone, that gray whisper, you can really see that fume edge. Um, and what's cool about that is that in real handmade tiles, those kilns were, were fired with wood typically or coal. And so the smoke that you would get from firing uh, the kiln to heat up that glaze would actually affect the edges of the glaze and give that little bit of a smoky finish. So really highlighting the imperfections that you get in handmade tile. Luke, there was a question about installing like gloss tiles on the bathroom floor. So I think there's two ways, these tiles, you know, and then in general. Yeah, definitely. So the, um, the look tiles, those were a porcelain tile and they were rated specifically for floor or wall. And I think with any time that you're dealing with a glossy finish, just thinking about um, what the use of the space is, um, you know, I find that glossy tiles work in, in pretty much any space that's sort of medium to low traffic. So maybe I wouldn't do it in like a kitchen or like an entryway where there's like a lot of traffic going through there, but a bathroom would be great for that. Um, also, because of the size of these tiles, they're not super big. And you think about like how big your foot is, when you're stepping on the floor, you're probably gonna be stepping on more than one tile, which means you're crossing over grout joints and those grout joints provide a little bit of uh, grip as well. So I think um, the look would be a perfect option for a floor. Tribeca, even though it's porcelain, doesn't quite have the break strength to be used on a floor. So this is only recommended for use on a wall. Great question. So I really love this image. This is from uh, I Spy DIY, one of our uh, influencer partners. Um, and you can see uh, on the back wall, on the, on the backsplash, they've used um, the Riyadh collection. Um, they're featuring the Riyadh white. Um, the Riyadh collection is a manufactured a tile that's meant to look like it is handmade. Um, so you get the really great look and feel of that cool zellage uh, look um, without some of those finicky issues with installation. Um, kind of cool piece of information here. The Riyadh is actually the name for the interior courtyard or garden that's so um, uh, typical of Moroccan uh, palatial design. Um, so I just love that the name really ties back to uh, the inspiration for the product. Um, and if you look down at the bottom, you'll see a really cool touch in this kitchen that I think is great. They've utilized the look Avio for a really fun pop of color on the front of uh, the island there. And I just love seeing how tile is used in places that, that you may not normally see it. Um, front of an island, I think is a great place to use tile, um, especially if you're going to have, uh, you know, bar seating like you can see here, you know, little kids doing their homework, kicking the front of the island, you're not going to have to worry about scuffing your paint. Um, so I think that's a really great way to use the product. All right, so this is one of my other, okay, I'm going to talk about a lot of collections and I'm probably going to say they're all my favorite because I really do like a lot of the things that we brought in recently. Um, this is the Jerica collection. Um, it's actually uh, named after a town of the same name in Castellon, Spain, which is really well known for like castles and watchtowers made of brick. Um, so you can see where that inspiration comes from. Um, these are a three by 12 porcelain. Uh, they're, they're rated for both floor and wall. Uh, and they come in four really great colors, two pretty neutral, the Bianco, which is that white color, and then the Ceniza, which is sort of a light taupey gray. Um, then you get your really traditional uh, brick red color from the maroon colorway. My favorite, you can see in the top right image there, is the mix, though. It's got such great color variation. It really allows you to go in a lot of different directions. It's got the white, it's got the gray, it's got the warmer tones of sandy and sort of golden hues as well. Um, one of the things that's really cool 
cool about the way that these tiles are made is that you have multiple punches or molds that are used to get the texture on the surface of the tile. In addition to that, you have multiple prints uh, that create all the different patterns and colors that you see on that. So when you combine multiple punches with all the different prints, you really get almost a completely unique piece every single time, which makes it look like real brick, which I think is really, really cool. All right, so obviously another uh, trend that we have been seeing continue to grow and grow and grow has been the use of pattern. Um, one of the things that's really fun about pattern is sort of thinking about the technology that's behind it when it comes to um, tile. So pattern in tile has been around forever. Um, pattern tiles started out with the encaustic tiles, which use different colors of uh, unglazed clay that were formed uh, together to create the tile pattern. Um, the next advancement then was, was cement tile where different pigments were mixed with cement and then poured into these specialized molds that allowed you to create the pattern. And then as technology advanced again, we get our um, sort of high definition printed patterns on ceramic and porcelain. So you get the same look and feel of those traditional patterns on a product that requires a little bit less maintenance, has a little bit more durability. Um, can't get enough of these patterns, really excited that we're bringing these on, continuing to add to our assortment. The first collection that we're going to talk about is the uh, Morrison Co. collection. This is a collaboration with this great heritage brand, Morrison Co. Um, we started this a couple years ago. Uh, we added these three tiles here. Uh, this pattern is from the Pure Net wallpaper that was designed by Morrison Co. Uh, in 1895. Um, it was originally designed for use on ceilings, and you can sort of see the sort of cornice effect that you get um, when these tiles are put together. Uh, I love that it's like a really delicate floral pattern. And as a part of the design, we went with a more like faded appearance to that, which gives it that, that look that it's been there for quite some time. Um, it's available in three different colorways, the linen, the cloud gray, and the black ink. Um, you can see in this photo, they've done something really fun where they've taken this pattern and made an additional pattern here by doing a checkerboard look uh, with these two colorways, which I think is really fun. Um, Morrison Co. has been well known for their wallpapers since they started. Um, and I think what's really great is that we're able to get wallpaper into places and that we might not normally see, especially because they're on uh, a tile. So you can see the wallpaper used in this space on the walls, but we're able to get that same look and feel on the floor. Um, they're also available or are able to be used in wet spaces, which wallpaper is not. So this could go into a shower or on a backsplash where you don't have to worry about spaghetti sauce splashing all over your wallpaper. So that's really fun as well. One other thing to note, um, we are getting ready to launch a new line of subway tile from Morrison Co. And the colors that we've chosen really line up with the colors that we have in this collection, which is really beautiful. So in the top right corner here, we can see my favorite color from this collection, which is the cloud gray. Um, I think it really highlights the pattern really well. Um, in the bottom right, you see that linen colorway. And again, here it's used in a backsplash and you really get that cool wallpaper effect in a space that you may not normally have done it. Our next collection of pattern comes from Laura Ashley. Um, we've been working with them since uh, 2018 and we launched originally uh, two different patterns in a couple of colorways, the wicker pattern and the Mr. Jones pattern. They were really good sellers for Laura Ashley. Um, and basically immediately after we brought them on, they became customer favorites. Um, since then, we've added new colorways to the original patterns. We've added new patterns new sizes and, and, and new mosaics as well. Um, our newest additions are the Louis Star Hexagon, the Sunflower Square, which is an eight inch uh, porcelain tile and the Leaf Mosaic. Um, these are all porcelain, so they're rated for both floor and wall. Uh, again, where you can get that pattern is really exciting. One thing to note when we were developing this line with Laura Ashley, as we continue to add additional 
patterns and additional sizes and shapes, we really wanted to make sure that we were coordinating with the rest of the collection. And that was really important, especially when we were working on the leaf mosaic, because we wanted to have a solid tone that could really work with any of those patterns and give your, your eye a little bit of a break from some of those bolder geometrics. The other thing that I love about this, this collection is that you get this really cool mix of the geometric pattern with a bit of a sort of floral motif that softens that pattern up a little bit. And our next collection is a continuation of our collaboration with Annie Selke. Um, she's another designer that we absolutely love working with. And we recently added this floral line to uh, our collaboration with her. These are an 18 inch by 18 inch porcelain uh, tile so they can go both floor and wall. And they were inspired by Annie's uh, Flora bedding collection. Um, in fact, we were recently in Palm Springs a couple months ago at her house there to do a photo shoot of some of the spaces where she used our tile. And it was so cool knowing that we were working on this product line uh, to see as soon as we walked into the main bedroom, there it was on the bedding, there it was on the armchairs in the sitting area of the bedroom. And of course, because it was Annie and because we were in Palm Springs, it was in pink. <laughs> so we went with a little bit more muted color palette here. Uh, so we've got three colorways. We have the barely blue, which has a hint of a, a greener teal tone to it. The coconut milk, which is this beautiful mix between gray and beige and then this vapor blue that you see installed. Patterns, patterns, and more patterns. Um, <clears throat> we've just been continuing to add because the demand from our customers is there. In fact, we've really been keeping an eye out on what our customers are asking for. Um, and the, the pattern on the right, the Calabasas, is a perfect example of that. Um, we had customers that loved our existing patterns, but wanted something that was a little more graphic, really just wanted it in a clean, crisp white with a black pattern um, to, to really highlight uh, the graphic nature of the pattern. So when we were looking at adding more patterns to our assortment, this one really stood out and we knew it was going to be a customer favorite. Um, on the left, we have sort of the opposite of that. We don't go with just that two-tone. We have a few different colors. We go with a little bit less graphic, a little bit softer with the curves and the sort of floral feel there. Um, so you're definitely going to be able to find the right pattern for your project with us. Okay, so mosaics, I don't know if it's a trend necessarily because trend sort of dictates that it's going to come and go uh, and mosaics have been around forever. I think that what's great about mosaics is they just allow you to mix things up with your design, um, but they can also serve as, uh, you know, a functional purpose as well. Um, for example, a lot of shower pans require a smaller size tile to go to allow for the slope um, and nobody wants to install one little piece of tile at a time. So these mosaics are a great option. Um, as technology has continued to improve, so has the number of options for color, texture, shape, pattern, and material in these mosaics. Um, you've got something as, as simple and clean as the penny round or the hexagon for the shapes, all the way up to really super intricate, like the sort of centerpiece there, which is the blossom mosaic in the middle of this image. It's one of my favorites. Um, this is made with a water jet, so you get those really cool curved shapes here. Um, it's also really fun that this is a mix of both marble and mother of pearl. So again, seeing that mix of materials is really, really fun. This is, I won't call it a collection, but I'll call it sort of a type of mosaic. Um, again, we had customers that were asking very specifically for preset patterns uh, in our mosaics. And we said, great, we'll go and we'll find them. Um, so we brought you this Colodi, um, which is a really fun uh, one inch hexagon mosaic. Um, it's named after a small little town in Tuscany. Um, Colodi, for those of you that are big uh, Disney fans, is actually where Pinocchio is from. So cool little fact there. Um, these hexagons are in a, a white, black, and gray pattern that form this really cool circular feel. Um, preset mosaics are a great way to get 
the look of a custom design without having to piece together every single little piece and create that pattern on your own. Um, so this Collodia is a great example of that. No one would probably want to go one by one with those hexagons to get that pattern. Um, so having that pre-made uh, already on the sheet is great. Um, we included a couple other examples uh, in the bottom left there. Um, those are actually using another really popular shape for our mosaics, which is the penny round. So that same white, black, and gray to create uh, those really fun designs with the mosaic. I love those penny rounds uh, because <clears throat> they sort of create shapes that aren't round, which I think is really fun. And same thing with the collodi, they're using a non-round shape to create a round design. So kind of a fun play off of those shapes. Just like with patterns, mosaics can run the full gamut. So we could have multiple materials, mixes of materials, very simple shapes, all the way to very uh, complicated patterns. Um, one of my favorites here is on the bottom row there, the Palermo Bianco with the stone. You can see sort of towards the top of the image, those pieces of brass that are inlaid in this mosaic that just give this really great pop of gold. Um, something else that we consider when we are working on our mosaic assortment is how do they work with the rest of our assortment? Um, and so we're actually developing these products with our vendors to make sure they're using the same colors of glass that we have as just solid glass and the same uh, stone materials that we have or the same uh, porcelain or ceramic tiles that have a field tile. So now we have a coordinating mosaic to go with it. So you're always going to be able to incorporate a mosaic into your design and know that it's going to coordinate really well with that field tile that you're using. This mosaic here is a perfect example of that. This is our Samson mosaic. And this is actually a combination of two of our most popular lines of stone, our Hampton Carrera, which is a beautiful white marble with gray veining, and our Lenyo limestone, um, which is this great gray beige mix limestone. Um, <clears throat> I love the, the, the way that these two have been paired together. Um, the pattern is a sort of a traditional uh, basket weave pattern, but it's a little bit sort of a fun play off of that pattern. Um, and I also love the texture on this. These are um, tumbled finish on this mosaic. So it really sort of softens up the look and feel of the, of the natural stone. Another trend that's really important to talk about is how um, non-tile materials are then translated onto tile, um, whether it's the real handmade zellage uh, or it's wallpaper or textiles, cement and encaustics, uh, or even terrazzo looks can come onto uh, a, a porcelain or ceramic. Um, wood look is probably one of the first that we really saw that came to prominence years ago. Um, and the technology has just continued to improve and continued to improve to give us really realistic looks uh, with our wood. One of the things that I love about this idea of taking something that's natural or from nature and translating it onto tile is that we're not tethered to what nature can do on its own. Um, you know, wood only comes in so many different colors um, and so many different uh, wood grains. Um, and so what we see is that tile designers are taking their inspiration from nature and these materials, but they're playing around with the design. They're combining different wood grains from two different types of wood together to create something completely new and something that you wouldn't get in a real wood. Um, the other benefit here is that whether it's ceramic or porcelain or even LVT, you get the real look of wood on your floor or in any space, um, but you get the durability and easy maintenance that you get with tile. Um, so, you know, you can see in the bottom right, messes are not a problem, cleans up really easily. You don't have to worry about re-sanding and refinishing these products. Um, so this is just a really great option um, for living a real life <laughs> in your homes. Another great example of taking a natural material and translating it onto a man-made product is stone and marble looks. Um, you know, this is another major segment for us, super popular with our customers. Um, we've got hundreds of options in colors and sizes and finishes. You'll always be able to find uh, the perfect product. Again, we're, we're seeing that um, our designers are, are taking multiple different types of stone and sort of merging them together to create really unique looks. 
um, that you don't find in nature itself. Uh, the other big thing that we're seeing, especially with um, the stone and marble look, but also with our wood look, is just how much bigger they're getting. Um, when I started, uh, a 12 by 12 was considered kind of big. Um, it's kind of funny to think about that now, um, as we see these tiles getting larger and larger, you know, our sort of core tile size for a long time was a 12 by 24, specifically for a floor tile, but we're seeing these 24 inch by 48 inch tiles really coming into their own. And we just recently added a really large size, a four foot by four foot uh, size, which just looks absolutely stunning. The, the bigger the tile, um, the fewer the grout joints. And so you get this really cool, clean, crisp, uh, sleek look uh, because you have fewer joints, but also fewer joints means less grout to have to worry about maintaining. So in these two images, they're really great examples of a couple of our uh, marble looks. Um, on the left is one of our new four foot tile sizes. This is the Armoni light gray. Um, you can sort of see the scale of those up against the bench, especially when you look to the right and see what a 24 inch by 24 inch tile looks like. Again, a 24 inch by 24 inch was massive when, when I started. So um, seeing these large, large format tiles, we're sort of calling them super format um, when they get to this size is really cool. Um, on the right size, this is one of my new favorites. It's the La Fienza Ora Oceano. Again, 24 inch porcelain tile, great for floors and walls. Um, a couple things to note on this one that are really cool. One is that this is a great example of where a designer has combined multiple different types of natural materials. So this is a really cool combination of like a marble look with like an agate which I think is really, really cool. And I love the color palette here. It's a mix of cool grays and blues with the creamy tones and some of those golds. The other thing that's really nice about this particular tile is that it uses a technology called deep ink technology where typically the glazes that are laid or are printed onto the tiles don't necessarily match the texture from the mold or the punch. Um, with this, um, the texture actually comes from the glaze itself. So the different types of, of glazes that are used, they sink or, or flatten out more or less to, to a certain degree. And so the actual texture of the tile follows precisely the pattern uh, printed on the surface, which is really awesome. So another thing that we've seen with uh, manufactured uh, stone looks and marble looks is just playing around with um, sort of dimension. And specifically, we've had customers come to us and say, hey, we love your assortment of stone and marble look, um, but we're really looking for something in more of a plank shape. Um, where it's significantly longer than it is wide, um, specifically because they wanted to use them in a herringbone pattern. A 12 by 24 can be done in a herringbone pattern, but it doesn't have quite the same effect as a plank when done in that design. Um, and so again, listening to our customers, we went out and found what we could um, to, to bring that to, to our assortment. Um, two collections are sort of uh, rec um, shown here our sandstone collection which has two colorways the gray and the dark uh, and then also the uh, cross line which is more of a marble look um, one other thing to note about these tiles uh, and any tile if you hear the term rectified rectified means that after the the tile has been manufactured and uh, fired in the kiln after the glaze has been printed on it's then cut to very specific sizes um, which means that you get super precision in the size of those tiles, um, which allows you to go very tight with the grout joints and give a really seamless look, which is great. This next collection called Everest um, is a new collection that we have from Portugal. Um, one of the things I love about this is that it's sort of midway between a limestone and a marble. Um, so again, the, the design of this incorporates two different types of stone in one. Um, you get in some of the lighter colorways, really subtle veining and in, in the blue tone specifically, you get that really bold veining uh, in this look. I love the blue uh, specifically because blue in terms of stone isn't found very often in nature. Um, and when it is found, it's very expensive. So having an option in a man-made that gives you the look and feel of a real stone in that really rare color of blue is really great. 
Um, when we were sourcing this material, we were looking for something that could be a full collection to go and, and create an entire look or an entire room using just this one collection. So we added um, both floor and wall options as well as a mosaic. The eight inch by 24 inch tile is a ceramic tile. That one's rated specifically for wall only. Uh, and then the 12 by 24 and the two inch mosaic are both porcelain and are great for floor or wall. Again, playing with shape is so great. We don't typically see these marble looks on anything other than your traditional square or rectangular shape tiles. So seeing them incorporated onto a hexagon shape is really great. For us, Hexagon uh, does really well. It's, a, it's a, a product assortment that we know our customers really love. Likewise, our marble and stone looks do very well for the same reason. Um, so seeing them combined together in one uh, tile or, or tile type is really exciting. Um, they range from really bold colors to very subtle. Same with the veining, you get really strong, rich veins all the way down to very fine and clean line veins as well. The image on the left here is sort of a, a typical size that we see for our floor tiles that are hexagons and that's a 10 inch uh, hexagon. Um, I love the, the really clean sort of subtle veining that we see in those tiles. Um, you can really get a sense of this being a, uh, like a, a real marble kind of feel um, because there's, not, there's a lot of variation. You don't see a lot of repeat in the pattern. That's really super important when you're trying to get something that looks like the real material. And on the right, we're featuring a, a newer size hexagon for us. This is a 20 inch, so much larger. Um, the scale just feels really cool. Um, and I just love the, uh, the Carrera marble look on, on that larger hexagon. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Um, one thing that's great about hexagons is because you've got six sides, the direction of the veining, you can really mix and match the way that they go. Um, and they just give you a really cool feel. You can, you can have all the veins going sort of in one direction to get one look, or you can really mix it up to give a very unique look to the design. Okay, so we love, we love uh, our assortment of marble look tiles, but nothing competes with the real stuff. I mean, they range in color from warm and cool neutrals all the way to bold and very colorful. Marble just sort of exudes the sense of like high end sophistication. Um, our natural stone collections are very important to us. And so when we're looking for a new line of stone to bring on, we're really thinking about it in terms of curating that collection. So we make sure that we find the best quality material and then really make it shine. Um, and I will call that a pun for being marble. Uh, one of the, uh, there's a couple of things that we look at when we're looking at these marble or, or stone lines. First, we test out all sorts of finishes to see how they look on that particular stone. So we look at polished, we look at honed, brushed, uh, sandblasted, tumbled, all these different finishes. Because what we're really trying to do is bring out the true beauty of that stone. We also look to see what sizes are in demand from our customers. So we make sure that we we make sure that we work with these vendors to get all the different dimensional or field tile sizes that our customers want. Um, we're also making sure that we add in mosaics that work uh, within the line. So we have multiple shapes and patterns uh, using that tile. Uh, and the last thing that we do is make sure that they have all the finishing pieces. So trim and profile pieces from baseboard or skirting to chair rail kind of frame pieces, pencil liners, um, and then accessories like curves and, and corner shelves and seats uh, to really um, flesh out the entire collection. So we recently added a new marble line from Portugal. Um, this is our Calcutta Avora line. I absolutely love this. Um, our lead photographer just installed this in his kitchen and it is absolutely amazing. Um, this is like a beautiful traditional Calcutta. So you've got the great crisp white background to the tile and then you have these beautiful warm and cool veins. So you get that really great sort of honey gold along with gray and grayish veins in there. When we were going through our process of sourcing this material, again, we looked at all the finishes and we couldn't decide between 
polished and honed. And so we decided to bring in both of those finishes. So in our field tile, in our mosaics, in our trim and profiles, and in our accessory pieces, you had those all available in both honed and polished. This bathroom is one uh, that, uh, that we just created recently for a photo shoot. Um, I love the incorporation of the gold in both the trim and in the hardware, really brings out those sort of honey gold tones in the veining. Um, the QR code in the bottom left, feel free to take a screenshot or, or snap a picture on your phone. Um, that will take you to a link for a, a video that we created uh, of this space that really, really highlights the features of this material. The last trend that I want to talk about is one that, that I think really speaks to the creatives out there, and that is not using a pre-made pattern, but taking pieces and creating a pattern of your own. Um, I think that's really exciting. And one of the things that we strive to do is make sure that we have pieces that work well together, that are the same size and the same thickness so that you can do that. Um, so in this image, what you have here is from our Imperial collection of subway tiles. Uh, you see three different styles of subway on this photo. You've got your sort of traditional flat, and then you have a bevel, and then you have a frame that are mixed together to create a really dynamic surface. Um, towards the left of the photo, you can sort of see how the light is reflecting off of each of those different styles. And it really just adds another layer of dimension, which is really great. The other thing that I love here too, is that we're using this sort of two tone with this alternate color of green um, and layering those two trim pieces just adds another element uh, to create a more sort of designed custom feel. Here are two spaces that really take uh, using two different colors and working them together and creating a very custom design. Um, on the left, again, working with our Imperial collection, two different colors of the hexagons. So unlike our Collodi or our preset uh, mosaic patterns, this is using just two different colors of hexagon and having to create the pattern yourself. A little bit of extra work, but that customization really sets you apart, which I love. Again, layering of the trim just increases the, the feel of that chair rail that we've got there on that wainscot. On the right, that bold graphic black and white works so well together um, <clears throat> with the trim pieces that were selected here. So we see uh, both chair rail and, and two different types of pencils, both a glass and a stone pencil really working to, to highlight and frame out those uh, pattern moments on the wall, which is really fun. Another big trend that we're seeing within this creating your own pattern um, is the use of checkerboard. Checkerboard's been around forever, or Holler Quinn pattern, however you'd like to call it. Um, what I love in these two images, this is the same builder that we have, Timber Trails out of Chicago. Um, both using a checkerboard pattern, but obviously very, very different looks. So on the left, you get that classic black and white using a black marble and a white marble together, coordinating it with the mosaic behind the tub. And on the right, uh, actually mixing two different types of stone, mixing uh, a marble and a limestone um, to create that much more subtle look and feel. One of our favorite things to see is when our customers use our products in ways that we did not expect. Um, I mean, we love to see our customers' projects regardless, but it's always fun to see it in that new, exciting way. Um, and uh, I can't get over the puppy in the top left photo, so we'll just take a minute to say how cute that is. Um, but please make sure that when you're using our products in your designs, in your projects, that you're tagging us on Instagram and on Facebook. You can also upload photos directly to our website. Um, we do this uh, in a lot of different ways. Um, as you can see here, we're using them uh, to promote uh, our products in, in an event like this. We'll use it in our catalogs. Um, to highlight the products, um, but it's also used on our website. Um, I think our customers really appreciate seeing these on our website because we can't get photos of every single product that we have. We have almost 5,000 products. Um, so knowing that we're sort of crowdsourcing these images from our wonderful customers means that new customers that are wanting to use that product can see what it's gonna look like in a finished space. 
So uh, please make sure that you are tagging us or uploading those photos for us. It's really an amazing thing for us to see how our customers are using our products. Um, and with that, that sort of ends my portion of our conversation today. And I'm gonna pass it back to Shahan. Awesome. Thanks, Luke. That was that was great. And I can't um, emphasize that more. We love being inspired by our customers. Um, just as we're, you know, closing out the custom looks and just seeing, you know, what, what ideas and things people can create with different tiles that we'd never imagine. It's just um, incredible what we can do together. And so love seeing that. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today again. Um, I'll just wrap up with a couple of things for those of you who maybe aren't aware. Um, we do have a pro network program. If you are a designer, um, you're selecting product for a builder or an installer, we do have a referral program where you can earn 5% back on that. Um, and we offer free samples for any professional in our pro program. Um, online ordering, if you're set up on our tileshop.com, you can order with your discount online as we do tiered discounts for those of you who do purchase product on your own. So um, you can feel free to learn more online or in your local store. Um, but yes, thank you again for joining us. As we conclude and end this, as a reminder, um, a survey will pop up on your screen afterwards, um, after this end card. If you have a couple minutes, it's very quick. Uh, you can give us some feedback. We do are giving away a $250 Tile Shop gift card. And as Luke mentioned earlier, again, feedback on the presentation, but also if there's problems products you're looking for, or you're specking, or you're not finding, or anything like that, we take this right to our product development team. Um, and we we bring products in and want to listen to you. And you've, you've taken the time to be here with us today. So, you know, we want to give you that, that opportunity to voice your, your thoughts and opinions back. So thank you so much. And with that, have a wonderful rest of your afternoon. Yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us. Again, as a reminder, we did record this, so it will be available on our blog. So if you weren't able to join us right at the beginning and had to come in halfway through, you'll be able to see the entire presentation. And last thing, if you do have any questions that you felt like they didn't get answered, please feel free to reach out to either Shahan or I, and we'll be more than happy to answer those for you. Okay, have a good one. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.